StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload! This is a game between Stefano and Marine Lord on Vani Research Station. This is from the WESG 2016 Finals from lotv.spawningtool.com and let's get right on into it! In the bottom side of the map, we have the Red Zerg player, the Frenchman, Stefano. And in the top side of the map, we have the Blue Terran player, also a Frenchman. This is Marine Lord. So two players from France who are excellent, excellent StarCraft II players. Stefano is extremely popular with Zergs. Marine Lord is, I don't know, maybe the top 10 player, top 10 uh, favorite Terran players. And let's go ahead and see what they're going to do. Looks like a hatch first out of Stefano. Rax going down for Marine Lord. Gas already there. Which leads me to believe, and I'm not quite sure this is a Rax, if this is a Reaper expand or not. Super, super safe. Super, super safe place to expand. You just have to worry about Banshees when you're playing against Terran when you're Zerg, because they can come from here, they can come from here, and from there. Just a lot of dead airspace around this natural base for Zerg here on the bottom and on the top, if that's where you spawn. Just waiting for this barracks to finish to see exactly what's going on. Got a new monitor. It's a little bit bigger. I think it's like an inch bigger than my old one. Actually, a two monitor setup. So I made my old monitor that I did used to cast on my kind of secondary monitor while I look at Reaper names and things like that. And it is going to be a Reaper. So I don't... Mm. Anyway, it's a Reaper. Reaper coming out. Got a Reaper name for all y'alls. For those of you who are interested in doing that, I do have a subscriber who's kind of trying to dominate the Reaper list. So uh, I might... <laughs> not quite sure how to deal with that. Because I want other people to have a chance too, but they're not coming in quite as fast and furious as they used to, so I'm not sure. Not sure what I want to do. So this is Nobody, a Reaper who stumbled into a Queen's lair and told her his name was Nobody. While the Queen was injecting Larva, he shot the Queen in the eyes and is coming back to finish her off. This story is inspired by the story of Odysseus from Greek mythology. So this is Nobody moving out. I'm trying to remember this story. I do remember taking some... Uh, or taking some classes on Greek mythology and Roman mythology in college. And yeah, so Odysseus does go in, says his name is Nobody, but I'm not sure if that's for Medusa or another monster that he deals with. Anyway, four lings perfectly scouting exactly where Nobody is trying to come up here. He's having a rough time with this. A rough time indeed. These lings are off creep, so they're kind of in a difficult position. Again, moving the wounded ling away, a beautiful play. Thereby, Stefano getting his third hatch up here as well. Queen is not there to be murdered. At all. I don't care if your name is nobody. I'm going to stab you in the face. Sloverlord's moving out forward. Stefano trying to see what is up. The answer is double Hellion. I'm not sure the Sloverlord's can see that though. So third base here by Stefano. He's going to have to hold this, I think, with Lings. As he does not have a Roach Warren. He does not, in fact, have a Roach Warren or anything close to it. Again, Reaper staying alive because this is Marine Lord we're talking about. This is Marine Lord who is interested in keeping his queens alive, or his reapers alive, rather. And here we go. Hellions coming on down. Are there more Hellions in production? Yes, four Hellions in production. Starport going to go ahead and land on that tech lab, so possibly a Banshee follow-up here. Hellion Banshee opening can be difficult to deal with for Zerg, just because roaches get destroyed by Banshees and Lings get roasted up by Hellions. It's a good opening. Very strong indeed. So here we go. Two Hellions and a Reaper trying to take down this third base. Good luck. Your DPS against buildings is horrendous. Hellbats! Is a lot better. You are not Hellbat, so you need an armory for that. And actually getting Corvid Reactor is Marine Lord. What? What is happening? KDA charge blowing that queen back just a little bit. Trying to spread creep between these two bases, but I'm not sure that's going to be finished or not. Queens and Speedlings are trying to save it. Trying to come around and murder that thing before it finishes. And they do pick it off. Great pick off there by Marine Lord. Exactly what he needed to do. Stefano is, actually has his queens off creep a little bit here. They're overextended. They're a little bit vulnerable. KDA charge blowing them. Again, doing 10 damage. First shot, their lings are coming up, trying to deal with this, but getting roasted alive by the Hellions. The control by Marine Lord is absolutely gorgeous here. Just beautiful. And this queen might actually die. Three other queens have joined the battle, though. Four other queens. And the lings are trying to get a surround on these Hellions. Can they get them? And nope! So many barbecued lings right there. Excellent control by Marine Lord throughout this first four and a half minutes. Reaper's still alive. He's got three kills. Nobody's looking fairly good right now. Again, being defended and protected by the Hellions a little bit. Taking some shots there, but Queen Count by Stefano continued to increase. He has more on the way. He currently has five. He's going for six. 
Again, Corvid Reactor upgrades the starting energy for Ravens. And there's a Raven in production for Marine Lord. So Raven coming out, not a Banshee, as I thought. Viking here as well. So very mech-heavy play out of Marine Lord. Which we have seen from him in the past. Again, hasn't had the most success with it, but... But... He is confident enough to try it here against Safano. Crap, I should have got a glass of water. Should have got a glass of water before I started this cast, that's for sure. Stefano is working on a plus one, a plus one for his melee attack and ground armor. Raven coming in possibly for some auto turret harass, but these queens are not going to allow that. No siree, Bob. No siree. That overlord scouted the Raven coming in. <clears throat> Injects right on time for Stefano as always. Again, there are the double evolution chambers in the natural base. And here we go. Raven taking some shots to the face. It's just the range of eight on these queens is so good. So good. Meanwhile, some Ling Hellion stuff here. Go oh, gets a bit of a surround on the Hellions. Are there enough Lings to do this, though? I don't know that there actually are. They're chasing the Hellions back, though, and that's exactly what Stefano wants. He can afford to sacrifice a few Lings to get these Hellions out of here. One gets picked off. Two gets trapped. Another one. There, one final Hellion. Can he make it home before he dies? These Lings are just a little bit faster than he is. And get it there. Do more shots. Add. Do they get the Hellion? Yes! He gets the Hellion. Another Raven coming along this right side. Sporecrawler gets several hits off from the natural base. Auto turret is tossed down. But again, it's going to expire fairly quickly. Another auto turret here. It might get a drone kill. Gets a drone kill. So drone kills are nice. Let's a little Raven harass. Excellent. Out of Marine Lord. A Viking flying around from Marine Lord just trying to kill Slover Lords. They can't run away very well. As it turns out, this Raven has four kills, which means he's been dropping uh, uh, auto turrets as well. Maybe trying to get down this queen. Does a lot of damage, but Ling's getting this round, trying to focus down at drones. Auto turret does end up getting killed there. A Raven has eight kills. Now that's four more kills on that guy. So a little Raven harass, which I don't think I've ever seen in a TVZ on my channel. Anyway, so Viking, very happy Viking. Three kills, soon to be four. Overlords dying all over the place. That's three dead overlords. They're going to be four right now. Queen trying to save him. Not going to be enough, though. Gets a couple jabs off on that Viking before he escapes into the dead airspace in the bottom left. Here come a bunch of Marines for Marine Lord. So actually switching over to more of a bio play here. A lot of Marines coming in. Stim coming in. Starport able to double pump out those Medivacs and Widow Mines as well. So transitioning into a very, very standard play. With Marines, Medivacs, and Widow Mines here. Actually going to try to shut down this fourth base, but there are a lot of Lings with plus one, plus one here. And the Marines really don't want anything to do with this. Queen's trying to take down those Medivacs, but great control keeping them alive by Marine Lord. Bane Lings getting target fired down. No Bane Lings, you're not exploding, not here today. Vikings still killing Overlords here. They have speed now, so they're harder to kill, but still, it is a possibility. Marine Lord is forced to retreat as more Lings come on in. Actually, landing his Marines here in a bad place. Uh-uh. A lot of dead marines there on that high ground. Continuing to send in auto turrets with these ravens. Viking actually has complete control over the airspace, over this natural base. Viking has five kills, soon to be six. Going to go ahead and get this injured one, finish it off very quickly. It's the speed lord, but Stefano is not running them. Where is he concerned about right now? I don't know. Queen, is a queen going to... There we go. Queen does come over from the main base to try to take out this viking with six kills. Six kills. Marines moving in for Marine Lord. Trying to pick off Whittle, or these uh, Banelings and these Creep Tumors. Getting a bit of a surround there. And then being forced away again. Another drop here of Street Marine. And the multi-pronged harass continuing. Out of our Blue Terran player. There are Mutas in production here. Lings and Banelings taking out another drop along this left side. Though just at the edge of the Creep. A lot of dead Marines there. Trying to land... Actually landing a single marine in the natural base of Stefano, and I mean, maybe he intended to drop more, but didn't actually do it. That gave Stefano enough time to run some reinforcements in Spore Crawler as well, getting some hits off on that Medivac. Is it going to kill it? No. Ten hit points remaining on that Medivac. Marines moving in, killing creep tumors, trying to keep this creep spread from getting too out of control. Here at the nine minute mark of this game, Widow Mines continuing to be produced. Have we actually seen any dropped anywhere? I don't think we've seen one burrowed yet. There are four with this main composition all along the left side for Marine Lord. Moving in to threaten this fourth base of Stefano. There are Lings, there are Banelings with speed. Everybody here has plus two, plus two. Very scary indeed. Widow Mine fires. Big Widow Mine fires, but more friendly fire than anything else. Actually killing several Marines. Their Baneling hits. Great. Mutalisks taking out the Ravens. Absolute stomping there. By Stefano. Ouch. Medivacs forced to retreat home completely empty. Lings coming up to threaten this natural or this third base, rather. But no. 
There are Widowmines here. There are Marines here. The Marines have plus one, plus one again, trying to get surrounds. Widowmines are firing once again, killing the Marines with the splash damage here. Overseer Mutalisk um, component trying to take down those Widowmines. And Banelings do manage to morph in, but there's nobody to support them. And against Marines, that just means you get target fired. Target fired down so much. 30 lings on the way. Plus one flyer attack on the way from Stefano as well. That's a Baneling for a Marine. That's a trade that Marine Lord will take any day of the week. 70 to 65 Harvester Stefano is in the lead. Four bases to three bases, but Marine Lord is not. Not sleeping on the job. Making a fourth base of his own right now. Resources lost. About 65, 7,000 for the Zerg player and about 6,000 for the Terran. So pretty cost efficient so far for the Terran player. I think it'd feel better if he killed more drones. He killed 11, which is good, but he did lose all of his ravens. I think he lost all of his ravens. Did he? Yeah. Yep, lost both of his ravens there and never really killed a base either, which seems problematic. Spine crawler, spore crawler combination here at the fourth base for Stefano. Again, where people will come down from the north. Again, use of static defense. So good. So good, Stefano. Stefano knows what is up. That is for sure. Lynx taking down a Marine in the middle of nowhere. Well, I guess to the north of the Zelenga Watchtower. There is something there. Mutalisks flying around for Stefano trying to do some stuff. But again, there are missile turrets here at the natural base for Marine Lord. Difficult to pull that off. Static defense, again, pretty good. Spinecrawler finishing at the fourth base. Lynx running around. Creep spread continuing for Stefano. That's what you do as a Zerg player. If you're being left alone, spread creep, drone up tech up like there are a lot of things you can do if you're not being attacked fifth base coming up for stefano at the gold base on his side of the map to the right here lings moving around trying to take this right zelnaga watchtower pushing up marines and a marauder killing a creep tumors queens really want to kill that medevac but no marine lord getting out of there before the queens can actually arrive lings trying to do a bit of a run by in the natural base but getting absolutely murdered murdered by those marines almost got some more friendly fire splash damage from those widow mines on the marines that might be exactly what stefano's trying to do in this game plus three infantry weapons coming up for marine lord at 12 minutes even though even though he did not go for marines and upgrades at the very first of the game that's crazy fourth base landing here for marine lord throwing up three missile turrets getting some widow mines defending the front as well but this creep is about half of the map right now for stefano absolutely gorgeous absolutely a beautiful so right now i think what marine lord needs to do is get some good widow mine hits upgrade his marines and target fire banelings if he can do those things i think he has a great chance to win this game so lings moving in it is a multi-pronged attack here from stefano from the right side from the left side Trying to come on up. We're trying to cover both of these. The Ling run by into that natural mineral, the third base mineral line. Lings and Banes taking on the army, defending this fourth base. Not a planetary fortress yet. Lings and Mutas absolutely laying waste to that SCV line at the third base. But Liberators are out, scaring away the Mutalisks very well in a full retreat from Stefano at this fourth base as well. A Widow Mine with six kills. Let's see anybody else. Five kills on that Widow Mine here at the fourth, defending Mutalisks flying around trying to kill stuff. Liberator saying, get out of our hair. Get out of our hair, you mutalisks. We don't like you here. We don't like your style. And they are, in fact, retreating. Queens getting taken down by Marines. Very, very, very tough Marines with plus two, plus two here. Marching towards the fourth base. Lings and Banes are here. Mutalisks coming in to assist as well. Marine Lord does not want to overextend on this creep. Again, Lings just running through. Widowmine firing all over the place. Hitting his own stuff. So Stefano's not even necessarily trying to kill things with the Lynx. He just runs them in. So the Widowmines target fire them and then sits on top of the Marines. So the splash damage actually does friendly splash damage. I've never seen this used so effectively in my life. 32 Lynx coming in for Stefano. He's got an Ultralisk Cavern. Plus three Ground Carapace. Plus three Ground Melee. And plus one Flyer Carapace being researched as well. So fantastic upgrades. Going for that Ling, Bling, Muta, Corruptor, Ultra. Composition, which is good. It is a good one for sure. Also, it does have the ability to possibly go for Broodlord at some point. Liberator Harass at 14 minutes into this game, setting up at Stefano's fourth base, killing a couple drones. Lings coming in just to distract the fire of the Liberator. You'll notice while the Mutalisks take it out. Lings can die, drones cannot at this stage of the game. Fifth base gets scanned. Marine Lord knows that Stefano has a fifth gold base. He wants to kill it. He's moving out immediately, actually stimming. His units to try to get there in time, but the creep spread is so scary. A lot of Defender Mode Zergles setting up here on the creep as well. A lot of tumors dying. Marine Lord pulls back to wait for it to recede, and Stefano says, you're going to move out. I'm going to move in, is what I'm going to do. Ling's attacking a planetary fortress. I don't know about this idea. Uh, Bane Ling's need to get some hits off now, and they are getting some nice hits off. Can they get the planetary fortress? It's almost dead. It is down to... Yes! 
It does end up exploding. Ling's running into this third base as well. There are almost no ICVs to kill whatsoever at that point. Liberator is locking down the fifth base while everything else is going on. SCVs forced to hold the front door coming into the main base. SCVs and Marauders forced to kill Ling's. A single Ling here with plus two, plus two is murdering SCVs and getting surrounded by SCVs and finally killed at the fourth base. Moving a command center over to replace the fourth base, which he lost sixth base under construction by Stefano or morphing in, I suppose, is a more appropriate term. Here, just to the right of his fourth. So fourth, fifth at the gold, and then sixth in the middle of those two. Moving down the left side, Marine Lord needs to kill a base or he's in so much trouble. He is killing creep tumors. He is killing overlords. It's not enough to supply box Stefano, but it is close right now. 185 to 188 supply. Spine crawlers here to defend. No match for the might of the Terran army. Coming in, the fourth base is under direct assault. Lings here at the natch or the third base as well, causing huge problems. Ultralisks. Getting, are they getting chitinous plating? Do they have? I think they already have chitinous plating here. Yes, six out of the available seven here. Lings do tie to a bunker at the third base, and the fourth base falls. Great job, Marine Lord needed to kill a base, and he did manage, in fact, to kill a base. We have Ultralisks. Are we just counterattacking right now? Stefano's trying to get a flank set up here on Marine Lord, but I think Marine Lord is a little bit too tricky, a little bit too tricksy for that one. That's for sure. All right, so. More Banelings coming in here as well. Liberator count for Marine Lord a little bit scary here. 184 to 183 total supply. It is as close as you're going to see here. Trying to defend his new sixth base. Lings trying to get up on these Marauders. Marauder count pretty high. Again, pretty good against Ultras. Transfuse is going down on the Ultras to keep them alive in the face of this danger. Just going for it now, Stefano. I don't care about defending those circles. I'm going for it. No, I do care. As it turns out, and he backs right out again. <laughs> Did he not know there were that many Liberators? I mean, he, he, uh, he might be a little bit worried about that one. Widowmine with 15 kills here. Sitting with his army. Five kills on that one as well. Widowmine shots have kind of been the story of the last couple of weeks in ZVT. Widowmines are finding favor again in this matchup as more and more Zergs are going back to this Ling Bling Muta thing. With other stuff obviously tacked on in here. We've got Corruptors. We have Ultras. Lings trying to come into this third base and harass once again. Small group of Marines and Marauders, but plus three, plus three Lings are no joke. No joke whatsoever. They don't have adrenal glands, which is interesting. I'm not sure why he wouldn't go for adrenal glands when he has so many lings. Either way, Army is pulled back to cover his fourth base, his replacement fourth base for Marine Lord. Small drop of Marines and Marauders here at Stefano's fifth base, which is a gold. Plus three, plus three Marines and Marauders taking down spine crawlers like they're not even there, but it does slow them down. Does slow down those bio and force them to retreat, giving the Army of Stefano enough time to respond to it. Oh, the Mutas found the medevac as well, and unfortunately, I think that boost is not on. Yep, it was not on, or it was on cooldown. So it ended up getting killed. Ghost coming in for Marine Lord. Steady targeting. Steady targeting. It'll be something that we're going to see here in this matchup. Absolutely faux show. Absolutely for certain. A lot of idle SCVs for Marine Lord at his natural base. I am surprised by this. Extremely surprised. You cannot have idle workers against Stefano, man. I guess I don't know where he'd put them, possibly, at this fourth. He does have a spot for about eight more workers there, which seems fine. Oh, SCV's stuck in the main base as well. Another multi-pronged harass coming in for Stefano, trying to sneak Lings on up here. Oh, he's going to get surrounded by the ghosts. Oh, no, he gets surrounded by all of the ghosts. And all of the ghosts are going to die. They do not have personal cloaking. Oh, jeez. Banelings, Ultras rolling in. Corruptor group is pretty big, and that plus one attack taken out. Liberators very quickly all over the place here ultra is super duper scary with seven armor as well forced to pull back just a little bit this fifth base by marine lord are there still links there's still links in the main base marine lord is losing his armory he's losing missile turrets he's losing these scvs that he did not move from the natural base continuing to move up here is stefano but he keeps losing to these liberators and these plus three marauders hitting so hard but lings loose inside his main base this is not good this is not good for Marine Lord, Marauders dying, Marines dying, forcing the whole army to come back home to deal with these annoying Zerglings. Again, no Adrenal Glands upgrade, so weird. But you know what? Plus three, plus three Lings are pretty good nonetheless. One Ling, I think, survives running back into the natural base. Nope, there's a bunch here. Trying to kill supply depots. Can they actually supply block Marine Lord is the question. Corruptors coming up and picking off a couple Liberators. Oh, no, the rest of the army left them alone while well, they went to go clean out the Zerg infestation. Marine Lord is actually at 124 supply versus 160 of Stefano's. Lings finally get killed. There's still one here in the natural base, though. No, no, no. You can't leave a Ling. It's it, uh, Fifth base here by Marine Lord is a planetary fortress, but Caustic Spray and Ultralisks being used. That PF had no chance 
whatsoever. An Ultra Lisk or two died in the process, but killing a base of Marine Lord was definitely worth it for Stefano. So he needs to expand. I think it's time to expand again, probably for Stefano. But where could he go? This left side gold base is really difficult to take. This top right side gold base is actually fairly easy to take at this point. I don't even know if Marine Lord would scout it, to be honest. This Ling has been sitting here waiting for Marine Lord to take it for a while, and no one has actually showed up. Burrow coming in. Another Ling run by by Stefano. <laughs> Absolutely just terrifying. Taking down supply depots, taking down missile turrets, going after reactors on factories, just killing whatever is easy to kill at this point. Forcing a lift off on that orbital command, trying to kill a refinery that has already expired. Just seems a little bit worthless. But boop, finally the lings do get cleaned out. But guess what? Lings rolling into this fifth base of Marine Lords and getting chased away. Does he still he still has a Ling here? Trying to take down this orbital command, but getting murdered by a single Marine who takes his job very seriously. Greater Spire coming in for Stefano here. Banelings, Lings, Corruptors. 142 to 146 total supply. Somehow Marine Lord is up in supply at this point. He has five bases. His fourth base is up and running very happily. His fifth base happily running as to a little low on HP. About 700 out of 1500 available on that one. All right, so I like the Liberator implementation that Marine Lord has tossed on in here for sure. Fully upgraded Marines and Marauders are just so scary the longer the game goes on. Does he have anything against Broodlords, though? A Marine does come in and finally kill that Ling that was sitting at the gold base on the top right here. Lings, a lot of Lings. Possibly going to go kill that Marine to avenge their fallen brother. Are they going to do it is the question of the day. He's kind of sending Lings out to different places. He's staging. Looks like he's staging an attack of some kind. Wouldn't mind gonna get killed. Nope. Wouldn't mind firing on what exactly? Nothing is trying so hard to find a target. There we go. Single Ling is killed. Ling's running around willy nilly. They're not quite sure where they're going. Has he, he does have a dragon glance on the way, so that is good. But he doesn't want to engage with these units. Maybe until he has that upgrade. Five Broodlords in production right now for Stefano. Lings could take down the Marine that killed their buddy. They're right outside that gold base. There we go. Coming on in, sending one Ling in and burrowing it. And sending some Lings in to kill that Marine. They didn't know how 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 damaged he was. Small drop attempt here by a Medivac. And Marine Lord along the right side. Small drop on the left side. Just Marines in that one, but a couple Marauders in this one on the right. So going to try to double prong Taras. Lings moving out. Overlord can see that. I don't know if he can see that or not. Stefano just wondering why he's being left alone for so long. It's 185 to 167 total supply right now. Again, the creep spread is almost touching that fifth base of Marine Lord. Not where you want it to be. Medivac flying into the natural. Possibly to pick off the Ultralisk Cavern. That seems nice. An attack at the fourth base with Marines. Going to get chased away by Ultralisks and Zerglings with a fully, fully upgraded capacity to do damage. Another Ling attack up here. Getting a surround on a several Marauders and killing them so easily with this upgrade. Ghost getting killed as well. So many dead ghosts. Why? Why Ghost? Can they? One does get saved. One does get saved. This drop by Marine Lord at the natural base is com being completely ignored right now. Broodlords are here. Broodlords are ready to go. Stefano is taking the gold base along the left side. So difficult. Drop here by Marine Lord in the third base. I'm trying to kill the Bailing Nest. Just take down some options here from Stefano. And actually might take down this seventh base of Stefano's here at the gold along the left side. But no, Broodlings and Ultras coming in to deal with that one. And one Ultra spawning at the third base. And goodbye. Thank you for coming. All you Marines, you just got chewed up for breakfast. Ten kills on that Ultra. I'm not sure if he spawned actually or if he came back to deal with it. Either way, Stefano manages to hang on to a sixth base along this left side. It's 173 to 143. Total supply. Broodlord count is sitting at nine. There are nine Corruptors as well, so additional ones are possible. And Fester, or rather, rather Viper, coming in. And the creep spread continuing out of Stefano. He has lost 59. He currently has, where's my structures tab, 51. So over 100 creep tumors made. Ghost count by Marine Lord. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. Nine ghosts on the field. Getting personal cloaking for his ghosts as well. And trying to land a gold base, sixth base on this right side. Where there's a burrowed wing. Oh no. Oh no. Broodlings getting a surround. Uh, killing the orbital command. No. Marine Lord loses his fifth. Ah, oh, the Broodlords are too much. Too dang much here. Army comes in to secure that gold base sixth. And he does manage to save it. He's going to land that orbital or that command center. Probably upgrade it to a planetary fortress at some point. 
Uh, I don't see Marie Laird going for Viking, really. It's just trying to deal with these dudes with Liberators, I suppose. They do have plus two attack. The Liberators do. Ultras showing up at the gold base of Marine Lord, though. Oh, no. Getting into a great position behind this mineral line to get lots of cleaving damage on these biological units. The whole army comes over to secure this gold base, leaving this fifth base fairly undefended. And there's an army here for Stefano. He can go take it if he wants, perhaps recognizing what was going on. Marine Lord goes back in. Meanwhile, a group of Marauders is sitting here in the main base getting killed by Marines, even though they have medevac support because Lings are really good. Really good when they're fully upgraded. Call them Cracklings, is what they were called back in Brood, Lore, or Brood War. Is fully upgraded Lings with the Adrenal Glands upgrade. They just hit so dang hard. Drop them in a Terran base and watch it disappear in moments. Planetary Fortress on the way for Marine Lord here at his fifth or sixth base, rather. But no, it's not going to survive. <laughs> Gone. Gone, Ultralisks and Lynx eating these SCVs for a lunch. Small group of Marines and Marauders trying to do something desperately here on the edge of the creep to kill this 7th base of Stefanos. Can't do it. Lynx chasing SCVs all the way back home. They're trying to do sub. What are they doing? Why are they, are they holding position there? I guess they were trying to save a Marine, but nope, they're all dead. 21 dead units, and that's it. A good game. The snipes were not enough. Not enough Broodlords, too many units to tell, too many Corruptors in the sky for Stefano, just continued harassment, great use of Zerglings, Marine Lord had lost his gold base, he knew there were two gold bases available for Stefano, I mean he already mined one out, it's just, it was too much, it was just too much for him to handle, losing that big pack of Ghosts, I really think was a major moment in that game, Ghosts coming down from the main base to join the army, a Ling run by just purely coincidence, I don't think Stefano knew they were there, Gets a surround on those ghosts and kills. I want to say, I mean, I want to say at least five or six of them. It was a big group, big group of ghosts. Got murdered there. Marine Lord did not have steady targeting available when he wanted it. When he wanted it to deal with the Brood Lords and the Ultralisks. And it cost him. It definitely cost him there. So, rough show, rough showing, but good game by Stefano. And that's going to be it from me. So, this has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.